Okay, so this is a quick example showing how to start a Jupyter Notebook server on an HPC cluster. So I have two terminals open, both on my local laptop. On the left one, I'm going to connect to the HPC cluster that I'll be using. So I'm just logging in with my SSH script. Okay, now that I'm logged in, I'm going to submit the Slurm Jupyter sbatch script. So that's submitted. Let's see if it's started yet. Looks like it is. It's been running for five seconds now. Um, and let's look at the Jupyter log file that that produces. So I'm going to use cat to do that. Okay. I opened up an old one. So this is the latest Jupyter log file. And it says to run this SSH script on your local laptop. So I'm going to run that here. And for the host name, I'll put in Oldenburg. OK, so I've now established an SSH tunnel connection with the um, remote cluster. And now uh, I just need to go to this address locally, and I should um, be able to connect. So we do that here in a Firefox browser. And we can see that it, it's going to ask for a token because we haven't set up a password yet. Um, if you do want to set up a password, there's instructions on the page that comes up to set up one. But otherwise, we take the token that will be available in the log file. Simply paste that token here, and we're now connected to the cluster um, on the compute node that, in this case, has uh, 24 cores available. And so we can start a notebook, and execute on this Jupyter notebook, just like if it was uh, a local notebook. All right. Thanks for watching.